My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are having HEB Rising Crust Frozen Pizza. It is supreme. Here is what it has on it. We just got back from our Thanksgiving vacation in Florida visiting Howard's family and it was a full day of uh, air travel. So I didn't feel like cooking, so frozen pizza it is. I baked it on the oven rack and then I've got it in this pan here to cut up. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be using up some stuff from our freezer and pantry. It's been pretty cold here today, it's in the 30s and 40s. Um, so in my pantry, I had this box, or have this box of uh, um, the Cajun Spoon Shrimp and Corn Bisque. I have made this before on our channel, but it's been, it's been a couple of years ago at least, I think. But I originally discovered this when I went to Louisiana and in their Walmart, they had this, this mix and it was really good. And I found it here locally in Texas. It is so delicious. So let me show you what you'll need for it. You'll need some half and half milk, um, a pound of shrimp, which I had in my freezer. Um, and then you're gonna need some whole corn, cream corn, and I think that's it. So here's all of my ingredients and you just dump everything into the pot and cook it up. So I'll be back. Okay, so here is our dinner. This is such an easy meal to make and it is very, very tasty. When you're making it, do make sure that you um, stir it frequently. It says that on the box and sometimes when I make it, I forget and it sticks to the bottom. So definitely make sure that you stir this bisque while it is cooking. But um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is called Chicken Cordon Bleu Tetrazzini. Of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But um, what I am doing is adding in my cooked chicken and my cooked ham. This is great if you've got some leftover um, like Thanksgiving ham. And then to that, I am adding in refrigerated Alfredo sauce. The recipe did call for refrigerated and not the can not the stuff in the jar. Next, I'm adding in some chicken broth. A can of cream of mushroom soup. And then it calls for half a cup of Swiss cheese. I did grate my own Swiss cheese. I'm gonna add more than that because we like cheese around here. So I'm adding about a cup. And then I'm just gonna give this a good stir. And then I'm going to add in my vermicelli. And here's my vermicelli. I've already cooked it and then I drained it. I did not rinse it. I did add some butter so it wouldn't clump all together. And then I'm just gonna give this a gut, another good mix. Okay, I've got everything all mixed up. I have a greased 11 by seven here. Got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Just pouring this in, I'm going to top it with some additional Swiss cheese and um, Parmesan cheese, the stuff in the green can. All right, again, so I'm just adding on that Swiss. Again, I'm adding more than the recipe calls for. I think it called for, I think maybe a total of a cup of uh, Swiss. I'm doing about um, almost two cups of Swiss because we like cheese, just sprinkling that. And here is my grated Parmesan cheese. Um, I'm using H-E-B brand, which is a store brand around here, and it has spices in it. So this is actually like a spicy Parmesan cheese, but you don't have to use spicy, of course. You can just use the regular stuff. And I am going to pop this in the oven, and it says to let it bake for about 35 minutes or until it's nice and brown and bubbly. Okay, so here's our dinner. It does have a good flavor. What I don't care for is I feel like it's a little soupy. 
I really don't think that it needed that uh, chicken broth. So if I made this again, I would definitely skip out on the chicken broth. I'm serving it with some stir fried skinny green beans and some garlic bread. This is a garlic bread that I'm using. It's a garlic bread loaf. I normally don't buy these, I always buy the slices. Um, but this was cheaper, so I decided to give it a try. There are uh, four servings, it's a whole loaf. Let me show you. So I just um, used half of the loaf for Howard and I, and I'll stick it back in the freezer and uh, use the other half another day. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So Harrison got a little mini pumpkin from preschool, and so Howard decided he's gonna make a little pumpkin soup. He's never done it before. Um, he's gonna be eating this throughout the week for lunch. I don't care for pumpkin, so I won't be eating it, but um, let me show you what he put in it. He put in the pumpkin, he chopped it and peeled it, and then he's going to be using some Grace chicken flavored soup mix and Grace Butter Beans. Grace is a Jamaican food brand. He is from Jamaica, if you didn't know. He's gonna be using a ham hock, um, a little bit of potato, a scotch bonnet pepper, and then um, a leek as well. So I will, he's gonna cook it in the crock pot. I don't know for how long, but um, I'll make sure to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so here is Howard's crock pot soup. He said it's good. He would make some modifications next time. Um, the pumpkin did kind of, um, he kind of mushed it out, I guess, if you will. And he said some of the beans and the potato in there got kind of mushy as well. But he said it's pretty good. Those are noodles that you see. That's from the chicken um, soup package. It actually was like a chicken noodle soup. So those are noodles that you see on top there. But he said it does have good flavor. He'd make it again, but he'd have to make some modifications to it. But anyway, uh, I did not try it. Um, I thought I could try it, but like I said, I don't like pumpkin and I just can't do it. Just can't do it. Anyway, this is going to be Howard's lunch for the upcoming week. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. I had some hot dogs and chicken patties. I only had three chicken patties left, so I asked, asked Howard to go ahead and just throw them on the grill for us. We could have them for lunch or something like that. So the hot dogs we are having are Oscar Mayer bun length hot dogs. And then these are the chicken patties. I threw away the box a long time ago, but they're from um, um, Aldi and they're okay. You get six in a box. We already ate three a long time ago and like I said, I just wanted to finish them up um, With it we are having well, I am gonna be having these cheese puffs From HEB, which is a grocery store around here. They are reduced sodium I tried them for the first time today Howard and I did and we both said you can tell that they have less salt But they're not bad and you know, we try to eat less salt. So they're okay. They're a good substitute and then Howard is gonna be having um, these spicy Doritos. And then we've just got our hot dog buns here. And with the chicken patties, I'll probably make some small, like Nor side um, for lunches. So like a chicken patty and a, a, a Nor side or something like that. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am going to be making a sheet pan sausage meal. So in my freezer, I had these garlic smoked links that I picked up from Kroger a while back ago, and I threw them in the freezer. So I took them out of the freezer today, and I left out four links. There were, I think, six or seven more links that I put into a separate bag and put back into the freezer. They weren't totally thawed when I separated them, so they should be fine. Um, but I'm gonna use these links today, trying them out for the very first time. I mean, I couldn't pass up this big thing of sausages for five bucks. And then um, I'm gonna chop up this broccoli. I'm gonna be using some grapeseed oil. I'm gonna use probably about half of these sweet peppers. And then I'm also going to be use the, using this onion soup mix, just one package um, out of this box. Toss everything together and just roast it on a baking sheet for about 40 minutes or so, or until that sausage is nice and golden brown. And then I'm gonna be making some basmati rice. I have this in my pantry. I haven't made basmati in a long time. Normally I just make jasmine rice, but anyway, I'll be back once I get everything all plated up.
So I decided to bake everything in a nine by 13 instead of a sheet pan. I just wanted it to be a little deeper, but that sausage is really good. It has a lot of flavor. And again, I'm just serving this over some basmati rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.